All right, just guys, so here we are continuing with our tour of Old France, and today we are at Abbeville. So I have no idea what there is to do here, so the first thing I'll be doing is I'll be heading to the office tourism to find some sort of pamphlet or brochure to, to see what there really is here to see. Anyways, I hope it's good. The weather is pretty bad, but that shouldn't stop us. Let's go. So we've just visited the office tourism and we got this little book here to show us what interesting things there are to see in this city. It's in French, but you don't necessarily need to understand French, you just simply need to look at the pictures and, and put the names in Google Maps. So behind me you have the Musée de Boucher Perte. So in general, there are a lot of frogs in this. I don't like frogs. But anyways, we continue to see what there is to see because there's a lot to see and I'm super excited. Let's go. Alright, so I'm not seeing the entrance, so I won't enter. And as I turn the corner, there are some persons working on another part of the building, so it's inaccessible for the moment. But nonetheless, let's go. Alright, yes guys, we are at saint Wolfram. which I simply love the architecture. Inside is quite small though, in comparison to outside. But anyway, something very interesting here. At the entrance there, they have the languages spoken for the day, and today it's Italian and English, as you can see here. They also have the weather report, so you can know what they will be like. That is super, super cool. Anyway, so this is apparently one of the most interesting things to see in the city. So if you guys would like, when you come here, you could visit it. Anyways, let's move on with our tour for today. Let's go. Alright, so basically a guy just passed uh, announcing an event later today at around 6 p.m. He said there'll be a circus, tricks, animals, and a whole lot of different tricks. But unfortunately, by that time, I'll be going home on the train. So my advice to you guys, when you visit the city, please look for these events so you can know when to book your train, flight, or however you get there. Yes guys, we are currently at Hotel et Jardin de Moville and this plot of land here is around 16,000 square meters so it's pretty large, pretty huge in my estimation and this place was founded or constructed at the end of the 11th century. Now it's quite beautiful, a lot of green spaces, a lot of flowers and plants, there's also a little mini lake there, there are ducks inside, I absolutely love it. Anyways, without further ado, let's take a tour. Alright, so this behind me here is your Eglis Saint Gil. Unfortunately, it's closed. But nonetheless, we can appreciate the outside. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be continuing our route to the Chateau de Baguel or Chateau Baguel. Let's go. Alright, so we're finally at. Uh Chateau de Bagatelle, but unfortunately you have to pay 9 euros to enter. That I did not know beforehand. So an advice guys, when you go somewhere, please check out if it's free or you have to pay. And y'all know me, I won't pay. So, let's go somewhere else. Alright, so that's a thick piece of forest back there and to be honest, I'm intrigued. I would like to see where it goes and find out more. But something is telling me not to go and I think at times it's good to trust your intuition. 
who knows maybe it's something maybe it's nothing but anyways it's better to be safe than sorry I suppose Alright yes guys, so this basically ends our trip for today at Abbeville. Currently I am at Park de la Bovec. And just a very brief recap of my day today. So first of all, I like that there's a lot of green space, a lot of trees, and a lot of hidden gems. When I say hidden gems, I mean if you were to see, let's say, a bunch of trees, a group of trees, and it looks like there's some sort of pathway there. I didn't check out all of these pathways, but I suppose that they definitely go somewhere, let's say, marvellous. Another aspect here that I love is, again, the buildings, the architecture is simply superb. That's a common trait here in the region of Hauts-de-France. And before I move on, if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscription button and tap the notification bell so you may be always notified when I make an upload. Anyways, let's continue. I also like the fact that uh, particularly at the... <laughs> At the park I went to, I don't remember the name, I put it here. I took, a, I took lots of pictures. Amazing pictures. I love pictures. Yes. However, there is one minor critique that I will give. A little negative critique. And that is that I think the distances between the places sometimes are too far. So if you want to maximize on a trip, I would advise that you calculate the distance between each so you may know which route to go. So it doesn't seem like you're going around the world because that's apparently what I did. And I am on foot too. So anyways, guys, with that said... I hope you enjoy the park. Oh, and did I say that I enjoyed uh, or I loved seeing the little rabbit? That was really nice. The rabbits really like carrots. I don't know. Anyways, see you guys next time. And don't forget, tell me down below which city you want me to visit next. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Okay, and I'm waiting on the train. Ah, oh, boy, am I beat. I need to go home, shower, sleep, eat, sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, so yes, guys, tell me where you want me to visit next.